Hi there, I'm just going to do a little stretching sequence for you to help improve your flexibility. Make sure you're warm before you start and just take it at your own pace and just, just let your body soften into each stretch. So we're going to start standing, so get yourself ready. So we're going to start standing and I'm going to work a little bit into roll down which is going to really open up the back of the body. So get yourself to the end of your mat and we'll start nice and tall through the spine. We're going to roll down chin to your chest and we're going to come down bone by bone, piece by piece. Now if you need to, you can soften off your knees. Okay, that's going to give you a bit more stretch down those hamstrings. It's going to release off that lower spine a little bit more. Just make sure your arms are heavy, your head is heavy. And we're just softening down, so either straight legs or bent legs, whichever feels the best for you. And then we're going to walk out into a downward dog position. So what we want is the hands about shoulder width apart. We're going to be pushing the heels in towards the floor and we're pressing the chest downwards so we're aiming towards the thighs now don't worry if your heels are lifted that's absolutely fine okay if you find it too difficult to have straight legs you can have slightly bent legs as well if you need to but i want you to think about that back position being nice and straight the shoulders drawing down away from the ears and the tummy button just drawing in what we'll do is we'll roll back up again, so walk the hands in and we're just going to roll up. So just stack your bones one by one, come all the way up and then just roll the shoulders when you get to the top position. And then we're going to go down again, so I'm a little bit further forward. So you're going to roll down, again soft knees or straight legs. Just draw that belly button into the spine, that's just going to help you release off a little bit more. Yeah, don't worry about where you are, if your hands are lifted here, that's fine, as long as you're feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. We're going to come out for our downward dog, so walking the hands out, hands shoulder width apart, drive the heels, imagine them, even if they're not reaching the floor, imagine them reaching the floor. Push your chest down towards those thighs, draw those shoulder blades down your back, tummy button zipped in. We're going to open up through the hips, so lifting one leg rotate through the hip and just let the leg kind of softly fold around the body and you should feel this in the hip and the front of the thigh let's rotate back through and bring the leg down let's do the other side so we're going to lift open up and rotate through the hip so one side might feel more difficult or more stretched and the other, that's absolutely fine. Let's come back down. Let's do one more each way. So leg lifts, open up, rotate. Just let the foot kind of softly add some weight to this stretch. And draw back through. Let's do one more. So we're gonna lift, rotate, open up through the hip. So a really nice stretch here. We're going to rotate through and I just want you to come down onto your mat and we're going to be bringing one leg forward into pigeon. So we're going to draw it in front and your back leg is going to straighten. Try and aim the knee down towards the floor. Now if you have a discomfort through your knee you can let it rotate a little bit. And depending on how you want this front knee, you can open it up a little bit, you can draw it right in towards you, just see how you feel. Now we're going to start by extending through the front of the body, so we're pushing the floor away, we're driving where that straight leg is, push that hip bone in towards the floor. Now if you want a little bit extra stretch, we can soften it down. So you can take yourself down onto this bent knee. All right, and just adjust yourself so you're a little bit more comfortable. You can really feel that stretch, hopefully in the hamstring on this bent side, on the hip flexor, on the front of the thigh, on that long, straight leg. And I want you just to soften into the stretch. 
just let the muscles open up, release and relax. I'm going to go into a bit more of a deep hip flexor thigh stretch. So carefully get yourself up, take that leg forward, so further forward than it was for that pigeon stretch. And bring the hands to the inside of your leg. And with that back leg again, we're trying to straighten as much as we can. So what we want to have is a nice straight line from that back knee all the way up to the hip and the thigh. And you're pushing your hip forwards, okay? So we're driving the hip on that straighter leg forwards. And just holding that position. You might get a bonus stretch if you're lucky in that hamstring as well. If you want a little bit more stretch or if you feel you can, can do this, see if you can come down a bit lower, all right? So don't worry if you can't do this. It might be too much for you today. Over time, you should find that you're able to come down and get that extra deep stretch. So release off. Now we're going to start to straighten the front leg. So we're going to get a lovely hamstring stretch here. So we're on that back knee, and we're just going to rotate around so our chest is lined up with that leg, and you're just going to fold down towards that leg. I just want you to breathe. You might want to just take that knee away or that foot away, sorry, slightly more to increase that stretch. Make sure the foot is flexed and drawn in towards you. And then we're going to slowly release and we're going to swap sides. So bring that leg in. We're going to do pigeon on the other side. So bring another leg forwards. Back leg. Try and make it as straight as you can. Have a play around with your knee position on that front leg. And then we're going to lift up first of all. So we're going to straighten up, open up through the chest. And just breathe. Nice deep breaths. Nice relaxed shoulders. And just think about driving the hip bones towards the floor. Think about driving this hip downwards and if you want a little bit more remember we can come down over onto that leg and again we're just pushing everything down using gravity to help us just letting those muscles soften and lengthen and just breathe obviously the longer you hold these the better so you can always pause the video, just hold for a little bit more. And then we're gonna walk the hands in. We're gonna go into that deeper uh, hip flexor stretch. So taking your foot up, leaning in to that front leg, pushing this straighter leg hip forwards, all right? So drive it forwards. Hands to the middle, breathe. So you might find one side a bit tighter. I can feel definitely this side's tighter for me. So just learn about your body, just feel how it feels, one side and then the other side. Just make sure you can feel that stretch definitely up through this straight part here. And then if you feel like you want to come down, Give it a try maybe, coming down and just increasing that stretch a little bit more. Maybe take that back leg back a little bit more and just keep breathing. And then we're going to slowly release off and we're going to straighten that front leg. Take the heel a little bit further away from you. So on that back knee now, rotate so your chest is lined up with that leg, hands either side of the leg, and then just fold down towards it. So think about your chest coming down towards that knee, foot is nice and flexed and drawing in towards you. 
some people will be able to get down lower so if you're if you can do the splits you probably find this very easy you might even find that your whole body's on the floor but it's never about what someone else is doing it's about you and your progress okay so always think how much far you've come perfect and then release off I'll just do a quick cat cow to release off the body so we're going to round off through the spine barely button drawing in we're releasing off into cow stretch shoulders away from those ears and just open up through the chest and then we're going to come to a seated position and work on those inner thighs so I want to take the legs out nice and wide and I want you to think about your toes just drawing up towards the ceiling and we want to have nice strong feet to begin with at least all right so get as wide as you feel you can go if you're struggling in this position so say you're kind of folding backwards yeah you're struggling to kind of bring yourself forwards if you get a cushion stick it under your bottom Okay, sit just at the end of that cushion, it's going to push your hips forward and it's going to really help you with this stretch. So let's just sit in this position and if you want to give yourself a little move around either side, it's just going to help loosen off those hips. So if you're comfortable here, you can stay here. If you want to go deeper, we can walk those hands forwards, we can soften down and again you can just do a little side to side little gentle movement very small very gentle no sort of sudden movements when we're doing our stretches now flexibility just breathe lovely and then bring the hands in so what I like to do is bring my hands behind and I like to push forward so I like to lift my chest lean back and kind of drive the hips forward a little bit and that just feels like it loosens off a little bit more through the pelvis, through the spine, opens up through my chest. And then release back through to front. So we'll do some side stretch. I want you to take your right hand to your inside of your right leg. And left arm is going to reach up first of all. Now with this stretch, we're aiming for the side of the body, so into that rib cage, to be lengthening up, okay? So as far up as you can go, and then only then we're going to bring it down. And you are aiming your hand towards your foot, but do not worry if you cannot reach it. What I don't want you to do is kind of shortcut it and come around the front, because you will not get the stretch down here. We want the side of the body facing the ceiling, so we're pressing up and over, we're really feeling that rib cage open, and we're feeling that oblique open. Keep breathing. Move this hand wherever's most comfortable for you. Keep that breath constant. Wherever you're holding your stretch, just breathe. Perfect. Very nice. Let's release off. And what we're going to do is do a lovely hamstring stretch again. So I want you to rotate your torso around towards the right leg. Now, if you find this difficult to fold down, bring that left leg in. All right, that's going to really help you do that rotational move. Okay, so either bring that leg in or leave it out if you feel that you can. We're going to rotate and we're going to aim the chest towards the knee. So we're going to fold down from the hip bone, look past your toes, grab wherever you can on the leg, and just breathe. So try not to just kind of drop your head down, even if you can, all right, it's just gonna take out some of that stretch. So really think about the chest driving forwards, towards the foot. Slowly, let's release. All right, we'll do another inner thigh stretch because I do like to reset the hips in between. So we can either come down lower, we can stay up higher, and let's just soften into this inner thigh stretch with those toes towards the ceiling. Keep checking them for me. Breathe. Maybe go a little bit side to side again. Maybe go a little bit lower if you can.
hands in and we'll go into that side stretch. So let's take the left hand inside the left leg. Remember, first of all, up towards the ceiling, really opening up down the side of the body. And then we reach across and over and we aim towards the foot. Do not worry if you cannot reach it. Just aim that direction, all right? And feel that stretch down the side of the body. Don't force it because you don't want to be pulling or tugging anywhere that's not ready for it yet. It's all about just progressing slowly and over time. Wonderful, let's release. So remember what we can do is bring this knee in if you wish for our little hamstring rotation. Or if you're comfortable, you rotate around, we aim the chest down towards the knee, we look past the toes, we grab wherever we can, and we hold. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. Just let the body Soften into the stretch. And slowly release. We'll do one more inner thigh stretch. So either nice and tall or soften down. And again, you can do a little side to side, maybe go lower. Just keep that breath going. And then walk the hands in. So we're just going to shuffle the bottom backwards. So just pull yourself back. And let's bring the soles of the feet in together. So we're going to be stretching out a different part of the inner thigh. And we want to think about opening up through the hips here. So we can either have the hands on the ankles and press down with the elbows on the knees. Or you can peel your feet apart. If you're already quite low, you can peel your feet apart like a book. And that's going to help rotate a bit more through the hips. Or if you want, you can pop your elbows on your knees for a little bit of weight. Or if you really want extra stretch, you can push with those hands down. But I don't want you to do it to pain, just a mild stretch feeling, okay? Let's just hold that stretch. Very nice. So we'll just work a little bit more into the hips now. So if you just straighten off your legs for me. And what we'll do is we'll bring in the right leg in towards us. And I want you to lift it up, okay? And just do what you can with this one. If you find you're not flexible, you can bring it all the way in. Just bring it in as far as you can. See if you can bring your arms underneath, okay? If you can't, just put them at the top and pull the leg in towards you. And what we're doing is bringing the leg as close to the torso as you can. So we're pulling it in, it might look a bit weird. All right, that's absolutely fine. So we're pulling it in towards us. We should be feeling a nice stretch down in that right glute, okay? So just breathe. Perfect, give yourself maybe a little roll around here. So you might feel a little tender spot in the bottom. Just give yourself a little roll around. So you can either stay here or we can try and increase the stretch. So you can bring your foot to the crook of your elbow and then the other elbow around the outside of the knee and interlace those fingers. So your foot is like a little precious little baby. And we just want to gently rock that baby. Just left to right. Just feel that lovely release through the hip. And again, now, if you don't want to add on, you don't have to. But see if you can bring your foot as high up on that uh, left leg as possible. And then we want to think about opening up through the right knee here. And the right knee wants to aim towards the floor. Now, it may not touch it, and that's fine. If you get too much discomfort in the ankle, you can bring the foot down a little bit further down, or even bring it to the inside of the leg, and that's also fine. Okay, so just have a play around, make sure you've not got, not got any pain, okay, or any sort of major discomfort. And then if you want a little bit extra, we can fold forwards towards that left foot. Breathe, if you want to push open through that knee, you can. Just let 
the body relax and release and then we're going to do that again on the other leg so just carefully release off both legs out in front and then we'll take the hands underneath that left leg now and we're pulling in towards us so we're aiming the leg as close to the chest as we can and then maybe we're going to roll around release off maybe little circles or just side to side just what feels like a good little massage into the bottom for you nice so you might like this i like this it feels a little bit tender but i like it you may or may not like this and then if you want to increase you can so we can pop the foot into the crook of that elbow other elbow goes around the outside and we can interlace those fingers Again, if it's too much, you can just hold and hug the leg in. You don't have to be in this position. All right, just a little bit like we're tying ourselves in knots. And again, we're just rocking the leg nice and gently. Maybe side to side, maybe circles, whatever feels good to you. And then we're going to bring that leg. So either remember, you can pop it to the inside of the thigh or we're going to drop it over on top of the thigh and we want to think about the knee opening out. So again, you might find one side's a lot better than the other, or a lot more flexible, and that's perfectly normal. And then we can fold down, we can reach towards the foot, and just breathe. release off so now we're going to come down onto our back so if you can lie yourself down and we're going to go into a lovely full body stretch so I want your arms overhead I want your toes pointed if you can fingertips lengthening and just think about the extension between those fingertips and the tips of those toes And just release off. What we're going to do is take one knee over the top of the body. So let's draw one knee over the top. Take it down all the way towards the floor. Now you can straighten that lower leg or you can even straighten that top leg if you want to. Now you can't really see there, but if you want to straighten, you can. Or if you keep them bent, it's entirely up to you. We just want to soften in this position with that lovely rotation through the lower back moving up through into the spine, open up the other arm. So if your right leg's across the body, left arm will be out to the side. And I'm gonna slowly and carefully bring both knees back into center. And let's take the other leg all the way over towards the floor. Don't worry if it doesn't make it, no problem. Like I said, you can straighten both legs if you want to. Okay, but just draw up and over. And then let the other arm come out. Just soften into the ground. Just breathe. And let that rotation take place. And then carefully release and come back into centre. And we're going to go over onto all fours. So let's get the hands under the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips, and we're going to go back into our cat stretch. So we're going to round up the spine. We're going to be squeezing the bottom, so that's going to really help us draw under. We're going to be pulling in the tummy as tightly as we can, rounding through the upper back. Chins tucked right in. And then we're going to go the opposing way. So we're going to go into a cow stretch. So head's going to lift, tailbone's going to lift. And we're going to think about lengthening through the front of the body. So all the way through the abdominal section, opening up through the chest. And we'll go back into cat stretch. So rounding off through the spine, drawing the pelvis under and squeezing the bottom. Extending away into our cow stretch now. So head lifted, tail lifted, it should feel really nice as we release through that spine. Just loosening off, stretching through the tummy. 
And then we're going to go into a child's pose. So we can soften back, bottom towards those feet. Arms reach forwards. Think about pushing the chest down towards the floor. Just breathe. So to go deeper and have a little bit more in a fine stretch, we can open those knees. They can do this a little bit or you can do this a lot. It's entirely up to you. And then think about pushing down into the ground again. And just feel that stretch through the hips. bring those knees back into alignment and let's just take some nice deep breaths just to finish off hopefully that felt fantastic for you take a nice big breath in for me and release it off and again nice big breath in and release off good job and last time lift Bring the palms in together. And really well done. Take care and I will see you next time.